Hi there, in this video we're looking at stretching watercolour paper. I'll just quickly run through the uh, materials that um, I've got in front of me. So I'm stretching um, not or cold pressed 140 pound wood based watercolour paper. I think it's a Dale and Rowney paper actually. I've got a wooden board that's been sealed with a coat of varnish. You need to do that so that um, the colour from out of the wood doesn't leach out into your paper. Don't use one of the dry media boards that you'd normally buy to do general drawing on because they won't be sealed and they will warp if you get them excessively wet. I've got some paper gum strip which can be purchased from any decent art materials store or online. I'm just showing you the board there, it's nothing special, just a bit of hard board. You can do this by soaking your watercolour paper into the sink at home or your bath. It makes it a bit easier. But in the confines of the space that I've got, um, I haven't got that facility here, so I'm going to use my brush to apply the water onto both sides of the paper and show you how then I apply the gum stick to stick it down. You can either use a brush, I think I've got a mop brush there, or you can use um, a sponge if you want to, but you need to get the paper soaked really well. It is better if you can do it in submerging it in something because you can leave it soaking and it obviously does both sides at the same time. You don't have to mess about so much, but you need that paper quite wet for this to work. What you're aiming for is for the fibres of the paper to absorb the water and they'll expand. And then when you lay that flat on your board and you use the tape to tape it down, as the paper dries out, the fibres obviously go back to what they were, but it, it goes into a tight drum on the board so that when you paint onto it, you get less warping of your paper, especially if you're using a lot of water and you're doing a lot of wet into wet watercolour painting. You can buy watercolour stretchers, um, but they do tend to be a little bit expensive. I think there are some cost effective ones that are produced by Ken Bromley. If you go onto his website, you'll see the, the type of thing I'm talking about. There are other watercolour stretches on the market, but they are very expensive. Um, but they are ideal if you want to work on stretch paper and you want to work on it straight away, because with some of those, you literally wet the back of the paper, put it into the watercolour stretcher, which is got it, um, a mechanical sort of way of, of keeping the watercolour paper down and then you paint straight away on the dry side. So if you do prefer to stretch your paper and if you're you know you're outside and you want to to, to do that then they're ideal but as I said they, they can be a bit pricey. So I've wet both sides of the paper now and I'm now going to pull off strips that are long enough to match the size of the paper and the board. I'm wetting that. It does go a little bit slippery when it's wet, but if you sort of stretch it, fix it down, as you can see that's moving around a little bit. Some standard kitchen tissue towel and I'm mopping up the excess water. And I'm just pushing the tape down and over the edge of the board where if, if the tape's on the edge, helps it secure it. And I'm gonna do that all the way around exactly the same on all four sides. Make 
make sure you push that tape over the edge of the board and onto the back. I recommend for beginners that have not tried painting on watercolour paper to give this, uh, you know, on stretch, sorry, watercolour paper, to have a go at doing this. Um, just go and get yourself a board from the hardware shop. If you've got some varnish at home, just give it a coat of varnish, a couple of coats, let it dry. It's not expensive to do it. And you will notice a difference when you paint on it. So what you need to do now, once all that tape is on, is you need to make sure that tape is soaking up the excess water that's coming outside of it and on the top of it. But also what you'll see me do in a minute, um, I'll go around and actually make contact with the edge of the paper, edge of the watercolour paper, and soak up that outside edge. And basically what I'm doing is I'm leaving the majority of the water on the actual paper beyond that mopped edge. See I'm marking there where the water's sitting. And um, once you're happy with the gum strip that it's absolutely stuck firm. You need to leave that board dead flat to dry overnight. Don't leave it near a radiator or any heat source because it'll dry at different speeds in different parts and it, it won't work properly and you run the risk of your tape lifting. That's the, the reason for keep mopping up on those edges is to make sure that that tape is dry and it's not going to lift. Because if you leave the tape too wet, it won't dry properly and it won't stretch the paper. And the following morning you'll just find a curled up piece of paper and tape on your board. Well, for those of you who've never stretched watercolour paper before, I hope that's sort of shown you what you need to do and how simple it is. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified of any new art tips and tutorials as they are posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.